So this Diddy content has gotten out of control. Has gotten way out of hand. The Diddy, the Jay-Z content. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh. I share an audience with Tissa Tail. I'm looking at the ecstatics of it. I'm like, she's fucking hot. I'm fucking hot. Motherfuckers want to, uh, motherfuckers want to, me. you understand what I'm saying? And then I'm looking at Tissa Tail's content, right? And I need y'all to understand something very, very specific. This is a content creator speaking to you in reference to other content creators who he or she may share algorithms with, right? If I share an algorithm with Tissa Tail and she's saying that the sky is pink and she has hundreds and thousands and, and more clicks and views than me, more subscribers, been here longer, and I'm saying, no, the sky is blue. You guys are going to listen to Tissa Tail because how long she's been here and how many people she get to view her is far greater than mine. So obviously you guys are equating quantity for quality. I provide quality. So it's no secret that I got the biggest Diddy video on my main channel at the Denot Show. About, you know, 700,000 clicks and views on one Diddy video back from March 2024. And in that video, I stated valid points that none of these big content creators have been able to challenge. After I did that huge video, content creators like Tissa Tell, Sean David Way, Make It Make Sense, they put an opposite narrative. They didn't go to Dunn and Brad Street to pull up Combs Enterprises to see who's all in bed with him and who's doing business, who's giving him money. They make way more money than me. It would have been nothing for them to invest money to figure out factual based information. They didn't want to do that. So instead, they all ganged up against me, minimized my voice and said, we're going to take over and start spewing lies. So I'm like, OK, if I call them out, people are going to look at me like I'm a problem. But in actuality, my voice is not going to be heard because all of y'all have collectively agreed that the sky is pink when I'm saying the sky is blue. It's a psychological thing. We are free thinkers over here. If you got a problem thinking freakly, this, freely, this is not the platform for you. If you got a problem with me calling out content creators on that BS, this is not the platform for you. Do me a favor and unsubscribe. Definitely don't leave a comment below because I'm going to block you. And when I block you, it's with 100% violence, okay? So we're clear. So I'm just, yay, I got a tiss -a tail in my audience. And then she starts saying things like this. We'll see what happens with that. But, but let's, let's talk about the fact that Jay-Z is now officially under, under investigation. On top of that, Dame Dash is breaking his silence on what Jay-Z saw, Jay-Z and Diddy's disturbing behavior, and the whole Civic Association of Health Kitchen, the president is coming in on Jay-Z, saying that Jay-Z tried to bribe them with tried to bribe them with millions of dollars and a lot of people said this is another play just like he did with barkley go in there try to gain the community's trust try to throw them a few dollars sell them out and leave things worse than they found it listen we'll see what happens with that so tissa tell uh with all the thousands of hours worth of content that she has put out about jay-z and diddy with all the thousands and thousands of click dollars and millions of clicks and views She's leading a narrative that Jay-Z is number one under the investigation and that number two, Jay-Z tried to bribe and extort somebody. So if Tissa tells the number one creator in my algorithm and she's telling all of these people that are watching my baby channel compared to her huge channel that Jay-Z is under investigation and that he bribed somebody in order for me to get clicks and views from the number one person I share algorithm with, Tissa Tell, I would have to go along with that narrative because they don't want to hear anything else. It's so shocking for Jay-Z to be under investigation. It is so shocking for him to have bribed somebody. I cannot repeat those things because it's a lie and it's misinformation. But if I'm telling you Jay-Z did this and this is my theory and yada yada, you mean to tell me I got to compete with the lie in order to get the respect, the clicks and views, the attraction in order for my voice to be heard. I got to go with the lie that Jay-Z's under investigation and that he tried to bribe somebody. Since nine says out of ten, since you're the go-to person, they're going to look to you. You're the authority. You're the authority. 
and I'm underneath you as a smaller content creator. And if I call you out for that, now I'm clout chasing you. Or if I say Jay-Z is not uh, under investigation or Jay-Z did not bribe anybody or there's no proof of that, now all of a sudden the audience is not interested in me because you got to keep on perpetuating the narrative that Jay-Z is under investigation or bribe somebody. How are you going to do that? You keep lying on top of lies, on top of lies, on top of lies. Mind you, this right here is a 45-second short clip that I'm showing you. I just showed you guys a 45 second short clip. So just imagine you're listening to her for months, years, days, hours, and she continued to state rhetoric like that. Defaming rhetoric like that. Things that she can't prove. Oh, I can prove it because there was a picture of Jay-Z coming out of law a uh, law office in New York City, and that's my proof that he's on investigation. And y'all want me to compete with that. I can't compete with the lie. The only thing I can compete with is the fact that I have not made as much money as them. I have not been here as long as them. My platform looks better than theirs. My opinion is honest and truthful. The same thing that I said about Diddy and Jay-Z seven, eight months ago, I can say it right here, right now. What is everybody Jaguar right like an officer dumb is? I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to say it first. And then when a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of all the bullshit and the fuck shit I say it comes into fruition, somehow I'm the best person to listen to on YouTube. It's lies. Even some of the alleged victims have to compete with rhetoric like what Tissa Tell said in reference to Jay-Z and Jaguar Wright. Let's talk about Audrey Sheree English. Yeah, this is the same girl that said that Diddy, excuse me, that Jay-Z named Beyonce and Rihanna after her because that was her name. She said that on Tasha K platform, out of all platforms, that's the same platform that let Ronnie sit up there and look like a sad puppy. Oh, no. And then it gets crazier because your story is not compelling. It's not as compelling. So even these alleged victims giving interviews, they listening to the Jaguar, right? The Tissa Tales. And this shit's starting to sound like a cartoon. Just listen to this crazy ass motherfucker. Right now. Yeah. And then there's the same girl that in the magazine is laying on the table butt hit with fruit and food and stuff off of her. We all eating off of her. I sucked a strawberry off her. She 14 years old laying on that table. She got a body like a grown woman. You don't think anybody's looking at that thinking that's a, that's a kid laying there. You're assuming that's a grown woman. So we made everybody be with a minor, you know, against your will and he recorded this shit. Same girl needed to do a number two on stage. She performed and she told him I need to go off stage and just bounce. He told her no. She ended up shit on stage. It was a wet. Went everywhere in Denzel, Washington. Grabbed up his wife. Smogged up the Diddy. I was like, man, you don't respect nobody. I had to run up out there. <laughs> so that's why Denzel and his wife left that party because of that incident. She shit on stage and she was only 14 years old. He didn't know she was 14. It was just the fact that she shit on stage and in front of everybody. And then Diddy took her to a room and beat her up because she shit on stage. Then he would only give her water baths and not would let her wash with soap. I'm going to say allegedly because she's still Jane Doe right now. I'm going to say allegedly. You know what I mean? It's allegedly. But she wants a DNA on two of his kids and they took two babies out of her. It kept her locked up and kept her, and had her babies at the house. The two babies they took out of her stomach. That's not allegedly. Yeah. And allegedly, I'm say allegedly, she had a three with Diddy and his own mama slash auntie. And she had a three with Nelly and Diddy. That's not allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Sorry, Ashanti. I love you, Ashanti. I love you, Ashanti. Congratulations. I love y'all together. It was 20 years ago. Don't get mad at 20. We're talking about 20 years ago. Don't get emotional. We just telling our truth. People, please. Don't get mad. It's some of y'all's favorites. It's gonna, it's gonna kill y'all. It's gonna devastate y'all when you hear the names involved because we all grew up on these people. We all love these people. We never thought these people would have been involved in the things that they're involved in. We're just telling our truths, everybody. And it was 20 years ago. So please don't judge us or say we lying. We're, we're being nice enough to let y'all know what's going on from an insider point of view. If you were not even there, don't tell somebody they lying when you weren't even there. Big facts. Big facts. Big facts. You know what? It, this is such a master manipulating, manipulating circumstance. Okay, first she's a victim because she was just flewed out and she danced for Diddy over in the Hamptons. Then the next thing, Cassie for oh, I was drunk, and now she was at these other events and these other parties. As the story continues and as the narrative continues to go on and on against Diddy, against Jay Z, these people are lies. And then you got Sean Atwood, a white man that went to prison who stuck cell phones up his booty hole for niggas in prison. 
You got him taking all the content and all the lies to grip the UK, to grip this sector, that sector. These people ain't got no integrity. Have no integrity. And it makes it hard for truth tellers like me. I'm here to cover the news and give it to you like it is. None of these people, Tissa Tell, Storm Monroe, Sean Davy Way, make it make sense. Ain't none of these people in Hollywood. You ask make it make sense for to prove that he's been talking to a celebrity or somebody. He can't show you nothing but a picture with him and Dwight. And they look like motherfucking twins. Oh, Lord. They are liars. They fucked the game up. They put two community strikes on my YouTube channel back to back to back to back. And now I'm free of any and all community strikes and I'm going to pop my shit. Y'all some haters. Y'all did all of this for cloud and content. And now that the Diddy content is drying up, guess what? You got Tissa Tell all of a sudden trying to read court documents. I'd rather hear Armand Wiggins read than listen to Tissa Tell try to read. How many times you going to yawn between one sentence, Tissa Tell? Y'all better stop lying and better stop playing, man. Niggas don't sue y'all because y'all look at it as an opportunity to get clout off of these people who got platforms. Tissa Tell, didn't you learn your lesson from Foxy Brown? You made a whole conspiracy about Foxy Brown. And then Foxy Brown said, you're lying on her. And then you said, oh, look, she's obsessed with me. I got her attention. Bitch, stop playing with people for somebody to come and find out where you at. Y'all need to stop lying. Ain't no integrity behind none of this stuff. If you support that and you support these content creators that lie and got an issue with me calling them out, this is not the channel for you. You can unsubscribe because you hurt me more than you helping me, bitch. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like the video too. Thank you. Love you.